China also has to deal with the ongoing increase in COVID-19 outbreaks as well. Uh, and, and then they've actually given a target, a geo, GDP growth target around 5.5% as well. Are they likely to meet that target? So right now, my annual forecast for China's GDP growth is around 5.9% for this year. So a forecast that we have maintained since the beginning of the year, and at least at the time, noticeably above consensus. So clearly, we think that the 5.5 target is achievable. Of course, mm -hmm. this outlook is based on three crucial assumptions, which fortunately have been or are being satisfied First, we anticipated above consensus economic activities during the first two months of the, of the year, which was confirmed by the January-February data release that came out last week. Second, we assumed accommodative monetary policy and proactive fiscal stance, which we just mentioned, we just discussed. And this was also confirmed by announcements during the recently concluded two sessions. And finally, and I have to emphasize this again, we are... I, we think this is the most important assumption, which is the reduction to regulatory uncertainty uh, starting around the end of Q1, which is, which is around now. David, do you think the messaging has been clear? I'm thinking specifically about Liu He's comments last week, uh, which seemed pretty strong. Um, do, do, you think that, uh, do you think that Beijing is, is necessarily giving the right impressions, particularly also given the fact that this regulatory uh, activity it seems to be fairly random. Uh, so we actually have been anticipating this change in policy attitude for quite some time. And in terms of reducing the regulatory uncertainty and hence stabilizing the growth and also the market, of course, implementation is key. And here, indeed, despite the strong rhetoric, successful implementation is not guaranteed at the moment. That said, our baseline is that regulatory crackdowns will pause or at least happen at a much slower frequency in order to minimize the negative economic impact.